Welcome to Toronto, Canada's largest and one of the most multicultural cities in the world. With this unique blend of cultures and diverse attractions, Toronto is a fun, dynamic city to visit with hidden gems in each neighborhood. Toronto's food scene is underrated, but also well known internationally by foodies as one of the best due to its unique demography shaped by over 250 ethnicities bringing their own culinary experiences to share. In this city, you don't have to travel far to taste cuisines from other countries and cultures. Toronto has teams in nearly every North American major professional league. Catching a game during the season will be exciting for any sports fans. In the evening, Toronto comes alive with its vibrant nightlife. The city's theaters, concert halls, and live music venues offer a variety of performances that cater to different crowds. If you are planning to shop in Toronto, you have many options to choose from. Retail store on Queen Street West, Eden Center on Young and Dundas, and various boutique and flagship stores for your tastes and interests. Now that you have been introduced, here is some basic information that you need to know before traveling to Toronto. Canada uses Canadian dollar as its currency, which is different from the US dollar. In most cases, US dollars won't be accepted. Carry some cash and use the foreign exchange stores or use a card with zero foreign transaction fees. Canada's official languages are English and French. However, in most places like Toronto, they speak English, so don't worry about French unless you are in Quebec. Be sure to check public holidays in Canada when traveling to Toronto because places you want to visit may be closed on holidays or busier than usual. Tipping is common in Canada, usually for the service industry like restaurants, bars, hotels, taxis, or Uber. 15% is now the standard and some restaurants have raised it to 18%. However, 15% will be okay. Now let me explain how our transit system works. Toronto's public transit system is mainly operated by the Toronto Transit Commission, or TTC for short, which has subways, buses, and streetcars. Now for payment. Here is the breakdown of different options when traveling. You can buy the tickets using the fare vending machines at the subway station or at any shopper's drug mart. Once you tap it on a card reader at a subway station or a TTC vehicle, one ride and two ride tickets have a two hour transfer window. This means you can get on and off at any time. If you are going to make more than 4 one-way trips for the day, a day pass would be a worth the purchase. Otherwise, it's cheaper to buy one ride or two ride tickets. To navigate the TTC schedules and routes, use Google Maps to enter your starting point and destination to get the most optimal route. Since this will be your first time using the TTC, you should add 15 to 20 minutes every time since you are unfamiliar with the roads and to factor in for transfer if you have any. The subway runs from around 6am to 2am Monday through Saturday and on Sundays it runs from around 8am to 2am. If you have any questions, find the TTC staff or ask any passenger for help if you have any questions or need directions. I hope this video was useful and have a wonderful time in Toronto.